what has this day been like for you? I, I haven't even gotten a chance to think about it, but incredible is probably the first word that comes to mind. Um, the Mets, the fans, the city have gone over the top with this, and I didn't know what to expect tonight, but I'll tell you what, uh, I thought all my tears were done, but I got to that clubhouse and they started rolling again, and uh, I just can't thank you guys, the organization, the fans enough. This was special, and I mean, what a, what a, what a night. I mean, I would just say this, look at this place. This place is packed, uh, the signs, uh, the chants, uh, the thank yous, I'm, you know, I mean, I need to be thanking them. You know, this is, this is, this has been incredible, emotional, and, uh, you know, if I could say thank you a million times to these fans in, in this city, uh, in this organization, this is, this is first class. That was really, really special, you know, to see um, my friends, my family, uh, my daughters, that was, uh, that was quite the nice touch and a, and a classy move to uh, let them throw out the first pitch. I'd like to think that I made it back, but this was a, a, this was a gesture by the Mets to, to allow me to, to have this night, to have the at-bat last night. Um, that was all, you know, them for allowing me to do this, and I can't thank them enough. I mean, it's, you know, when you allow a guy that uh, had the trouble that I had physically and, and playing the game in the minor leagues this year to come back and have this type of, of night, um, I mean, it, it, the hair on the back of my neck is standing. It's sending chills down my spine, and this is a night that I'll remember for the rest of my life. Well, let me say this first. You might have given me the biggest compliment that I've, that I've received yet by saying that I could play for that 86 team. <laughs> Ah, you could. I saw something. You said I could play for that 86 team, and that 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 made my heart grow, Keith. And I really appreciate that. Um, so you might hit, you might hit seven. <laughs> <laughs> playing baseball in New York is not just playing baseball in New York. It's a different animal. It's it's dealing with the media. It's making yourself accessible, being accountable, and that's something that. I was very fortunate to learn at a young age and something where even when things weren't going our way or, or my way, um, it was important for me to step up and, you know, even in the dark times say, you know what, it's going to get better. The love that I have for this organization, as you mentioned, I grew up in Norfolk uh, watching our AAA team, um, being a Mets fan. So, you know, I feel like I'm one of them. You know, it's it's it's. You know, when I'm around Mets fans, when I'm around the orange and blue, you know, it's like I'm at home. And, uh, you know, that, that that's very, very important. David, it's been an honor watching every game you've ever played. And more importantly, it's been an honor knowing you. And um, thank you. Thank you for everything that you've done for us. But more importantly, what you've done for the entire Mets community. Are you kidding me? Thank you. You know, that's uh, that's a very, very high praise. But, um, you know, I want to thank you guys. Uh, you know, you guys are the best. And uh, this organization is the best. And, uh, certainly the, the fans are the best so uh, you know a hat tip and thank you very very much.